Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about algebraic and numeric expressions, and we're going to evaluate using the variables given. So, if I was given this expression, z divided by 6 plus x plus x minus 5. And we were using x to equal 1 and z to equal 6. Well, <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to take this expression and we're going to substitute every single time we see an x a 1 and every single time we see a z a 6. So uh, let's go, um, oh, so it's fine here. So when I'm going to substitute it in, uh, when I see a z, I'm going to put a 6. So I'm going to put a 6 right there. And then I'll rewrite everything else. 6 comes out plus x is a 1 plus x is a 1 minus and 5. Okay? So I put parentheses around the uh, variables uh, when I substitute that in to have the number. So now let's, let's follow, our, follow our order of operation. Division first. First, 6 divided by 6 comes first. That is just a 1. Then we can bring down everything else. This 1, this 1. My 1 is pretty groovy. And then minus 5. So now it's just addition. Let's add them together. Um, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is pretty easy. That's 3, right? So 3 minus 5. And 3 minus 5 is a negative 2. And so our final answer here is just a negative 2. So let's recap. We're given z divided by 6 plus x plus x minus 5. And we're going to use x to be 1 and z to be equal to 6. Well, I substituted every single time I saw an x, I put a 1 in. And every single time I saw a z, I put a 6 in. Then from there, we had to simplify. Division came first. Out of division, uh, division, addition, subtraction over there. Division first. 6 divided by 6 is a 1. And then we brought down everything else. We then went left to right because we just had addition and subtraction. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 was a 3. And we subtracted the 5. And we had a final answer again of a negative 2.